was the greatest mum ever. She will be truly missed and will always be in my heart forever. Mum, I will always love you. Always. Pamela's baby is quite poorly. She's supposed to head off to an interview today, but her babysitter won't look after a sick child. That's the way it works. She has to be responsible for her child when the child is sick. Um, so she's in a bit of a pickle. taking my calls listen you're not supposed to call me it was a drunken one night stand you don't go on to keep babies from that that is just a horrible thing to say i really need a lot of help here he keeps screaming i can't take it anymore do not call me call the doctor your mother someone not me perhaps i should consider putting him up for adoption we're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What a snarling fool. Ugh. Oh my goodness, can't you be quiet for a minute, Onyx? Here's a bottle. Here, baby. Here, baby. What's going on with you? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on. Go. Here's another drink for you. Drink it. Drink it. Oh, stop screaming. Ebony is in her second year of nursing, um, just starting out. And what happens is about 60% of her time is spent at the hospital uh, and 40% spent on campus uh, with more academic work. So as I say, uh, for the remaining 60% of the time, she's here at the Sims General Hospital University Teaching Hospital uh, doing some more of practical work as is expected for um, a nurse in the making. Okay, now... It's not been easy for her. She's had to keep up. She doesn't want to fall behind. She hasn't really mourned, which is really unfortunate, but she's going about it with her mind over matter. She knows that she's got to fight. She's got to do everything she can to hold it together, especially professionally for the sake of her sister, Megan. Now, this is what happens when a young person loses an adult in their life. You automatically get promoted to the head space of an adult. And that's what she's doing right now. Luckily for her, Megan isn't a baby. While on the other hand, 
Pamela actually does have a baby and seeing as she's made that choice, her life has gone on hold and her baby has taken center stage. Now what do you think about this lovely pram that I've put here? You know, I've always wondered why The Sims Freeplay gave us the pregnancy update and there was no buggy, no pushchair, no pram. Why? And it's been maybe two, three years since and nothing. So I've gone ahead and put one in the game and there he is all nice and snug. Isn't it interesting? He's screaming at home, but as soon as you bring him out, he falls asleep. Go figure. <laughs> While Pamela's life has taken a backstage to her son, she has missed a very important interview at Fabric Pieces Couture. Freya, who she's meant to be seeing for this interview, has decided to wait just a couple more minutes in the boardroom uh, and see if Pamela will show up. Mr. Kaffer, we've been waiting for more than 30 minutes for one of the candidates who haven't shown up or called to let us know what's going on. I think it's best we go ahead and interview the other candidates. It's been over an hour since Pamela's baby was taken away for tests. She's getting a bit antsy, her voice is raised, she's given the receptionist a hard time and wants to know where her baby is. And just as this was happening, Ebony was done for the day uh, and came down to grab a drink from the vending machine. She's just in time to get home, get Megan and head off to the lawyer's office to see about her mother's will. But then she hears Pamela's voice and just has minutes to spare to say hi. Hi Pamela, what are you doing here? Is the baby alright? Are you okay? Hi, Ebony. I'm fine. It's Onyx. He just keeps screaming, you know? Okay. And screaming. Right. Oh, well. I'd really love to chat, but I have an appointment. No worries. I really do have to get going, okay? Miss Diamond, I'm Dr. Noble. I'm the consultant that's been treating your son for the better part of this afternoon. Would you mind coming in to my office to have a chat? Can't you just tell me if he's going to be alright? We can only discuss results behind closed doors for privacy reasons. Tom was the captain of his football team in high school, if you remember, and he has gone on to become a professional footballer. He has won a couple of games for the Simtown football team, but make no mistake about it, he is in full-time education in university with the help of private tutors on the road. So his hands are full, but he's determined. I can't thank you enough for recommending me for the endorsement. It's turned out alright, I've signed it. Congratulations Tom, you did it. I'm really so excited. Go take a shower, you're done for the day. It takes a lot to run a household and since Ebony's mum has passed, Bolanle has stepped in as an amazing friend. She pops by between the hours that she has available to do some house chores, um, throw out the trash, take care of the laundry, and if there's laundry that's already left out, she'll fold them away or iron them. Sometimes she'll get food from her mum's house and bring it over to Ebony's, or she'll come here and cook herself when she has the time. I mean, she was very close to the family and absolutely adored Miss Haley. Uh, and now that she's passed, she just feels that she has to be a part of the family somehow until at least Ebony figures it out because a lot is being left undone and Ebony really fell apart when this happened. Ebony is going to be home any second now and will be absolutely delighted to see, you know, Bolanley in the house with her little sister, you know, because Megan is at home. She's walked home from school, put the keys through the lock, come in and, you know, she's just in the house by herself. 
So it's quite nice that Bolanle, you know, makes her way down here every now and again to take care of anything and everything that she sees left to the wayside. Ebony will figure it out, but in the meantime, uh, Bolanle is here to show her all the love and support required during this very, very difficult and confusing time. I've taken out the recycling and I've put in a second load of laundry. The first lot has already been ironed and put away so you don't need to worry about that. Also the dishes have been done okay so I'm on my way out. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's been so hard. I just completely lost my way. Don't mention it. I'm here for you Ebony. I'll have you know that the Diamonds own a skyscraper right in the middle of Dag Dag Walk, the main city center. And Tom's dad is actually in town conducting some business here. Uh, Tom wants to have a chat with him. Being an heir to this empire, he's free to walk in, sit down, have a cup of tea and wait for his dad to finish having a conversation with what looks like the commissioner of police. What are they talking about? It won't be hard finding out who he is, Mr. Diamond. Uh, we'll just put on some phone taps. Uh, I need more. Where does he live? I suppose we could enlist the help of a private investigator and we'll take it from there, okay? Let's put an end to the secrecy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't help but hear you're trying to use a private investigator to check on Pamela. That's my prerogative. Uh-huh. It's very sad what happened to your friend. Hard to have one parent, let alone none. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'd like to ask her to marry me. What? What do you know about marriage? You haven't even signed your sports endorsement yet. I did. When? This afternoon. Where is it? I must have it in my hands. And make sure you don't lie to me, young man. I feel as though she needs some security, you know. She's all by herself. It's coming out of your inheritance. Ugh. Go ahead and pick a diamond. It's a very good idea that his dad has made him responsible for the cost of the diamond ring, even though it's a post-dated responsibility. Um, and what do you think? Is this a sympathy move on his part towards Ebony? Or do you think he should wait? Is it too soon? Do you think he's ready? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Pamela's finally made herself comfortable in Dr. Noble's office and is ready to hear what's making her son cry incessantly. Your baby has a rare condition known as hulbopapathitis, also known as father leukemia. We need some genes from the father of the child to complete the actual makeup of your child so that he can have uh, a much better childhood and grow up quite healthy. Okay, have the father come in as soon as possible so we can take some samples and begin treatment on your son. Ebony and Megan are sat ready and waiting for the lawyer to read out the details of their mother's will. He seems to be taking his time. When are we actually going to get started? Uh, we're waiting for one more party to join us. Huh? To have a seat, Mr. Blaine.